this is code.org, do this. This program prints every element in the list and also numbers them. Add code to print a numbered list of every element in the list of colors. Okay, so first let's test this out. Oh yeah, all right. So one, two, three, four, five, yep. And we're printing out the list of favorite pets. Now where are we making, I'm gonna reset that happen, printing out and numbering the elements of pets list. This variable pet, we're doing this outside of the loop because this creates the variable. We don't wanna create the variable, however, over and over again, every time the loop runs. So we declare it here for our pet. And let's keep in mind, for variable i is equal to zero. So we're using i to count. So i is at first equal to zero. i must be less than pet's length. So once i is equal to the pet's length, we're done with our loop and we would run the code underneath. i plus plus means i equals i plus one. So add one to i each time, count up. But first, i is zero, is zero less than favorite pets dot length? Definitely, because it looks like there's five things. So we dip down into our loop pet is equal to favorite pet's i. Well, what was i? i is zero right now, so that's dogs. Console log, i plus one, okay? So notice that the first number is one, and that's because we start at zero, because this is index zero. But i plus one, which will give us one, so shoot out that number, plus semicolon, semicolon, plus pet, okay? So what's pet? Well, pet, remember, was favorite pet's index of whatever i is zero, so docs. We now hit the bottom. i is equal to i plus one, so zero plus one is one. Is one less than pet's dot length? Yeah, pet's dot length is five. So pet is equal to my favorite pet dot, uh, my favorite pet's one. This cats is the one index. Then we go, okay, well, i is at one right now. 1 plus 1 is 2, so we put 2, we smack a colon in front of it, and then we print out what pet was. What's pet? Pet is favorite pet's 1, and that was cats, cats, so on and so forth. Let's see down here. My favorite color. All right, my favorite color is, and again, let's do this. Now, you want to be careful with loops. For this, it's going to let me. Oh, interesting. I would get into the habit of... Apparently, it's going to let you redeclare I, another var. I would get into the habit of changing this. It's just good practice. Since we've already used I right here, I'm going to have, because I, I, haha, <laughs> I find it confusing, and most programming languages will demand this of you. I don't want another I, so I'm just going to use J this time. 4J less than G 0. At 4J equal to 0, J is less than 4. J plus plus. Same thing as up there. Now, I'll do it how they are. So I'll do a variable outside. Uh, just the declaration, no definition. So just like this, and I'll call mine color. And then down in here, I'm going to say, all right. So color is going to be equal to our favorite colors i, j, because I'm using j. So as we loop through the list, we're going to make this variable equal to whatever color we are at. And then we want to council log it. So let me grab a council log, but we need to council log it with numbers, right? We're putting a number in front of it. We're concatenating it, right? That means we're putting a string and another item, string or number together. So how do they do this? It looks like a plus sign and another plus sign and another plus sign. That looks complicated. All right, let's do it. And you can, of course, do this in text mode. It might even be faster. Do I have enough? Yes. Um, yes, but I don't like the parentheses, but we'll change that in a sec. So first we want, just like I went through, J, because we're not using I in this one, plus one, okay? Then we need a colon. I'm gonna put a space there. And then I want the pet and a pet. <laughs> uh, I want color because color is a variable. I don't like these parentheses, so I'm going to go into text mode. They make sense to show you that this is a math equation. Let's get rid of the extra ones here and here. Okay. Show blocks. And looking good. Let's give it a shot. Boom. So we're almost there. Notice we don't have yellow. And that is because... I only asked it to go to four. We want to go the whole length of the list. 
Now I can count it out or whatever, but I would always, um, a good habit to be in is to, instead of counting it out, do dot length, because then they will do the math for you. And if you add stuff to the list, you don't need to worry about updating your code because it will always grab the length of the list before running. Favorite colors. There we are. Run. Boom. Cool. Yep, we got it all. All right, let's keep going.